Kanzlerin Başkanı Tayyip Erdoğan'ın tüm istihdamını sunardım. Doktor Hanım Ali, Doktor Kemal, Doktor Kemal, Doktor Sıldevi, the Sporting Director Coordinator Doktor Sarda Rafma, other professors, deans for the subject. My dear students and distinguished parents, very good morning to you. I'm not going to take much time because later on we are going to have um, a lot of things you are going to be told by uh, Provinci and the respective deans and of course your doctors. What is the difference between joining VIT and other colleges or universities? That's where I wanted to make a difference, and it is really a difference. Not only we want to send him as a good engineer, also as a good son, daughter, and a good citizen. That's our effort. And also we wanted to learn the great traditions of this country and the values and ethics of our country. This is an institution where we cut across caste, religion, state, language, etc. I think in the first year alone, we have students from 30 states and the Indian territories. This year, first time we are adding our foreign students and non resident Indians also. So it's going to be, like India, a great institution of diversity, which will be helping to be very helpful to you to learn many things from your neighbors, from your friends. And we try to practice ethics and values so that you will invite it. And also you will practice in your life. Because I will be pressing this country's growth. And wherever we go down for the last 50 years. I entered parliament in the year 1967. And I have been witnessing governments of the center and the states. Of course, many of my old colleagues are up to very high positions all over the country. We want to grow as a nation and we want to be a developed country, an advanced country. First, is it possible? And what is it that we should do? And what is it that VIT can do? I always tell our students that India should give the world and VIT should give India. Is it a daydream? Is it an utopia? Or can it happen? At the time of independence, we never thought that we are going to be a big nation like this. Today, we have crossed two trillion dollars, or GDP is two trillion dollars. Just five years ago, it was only one trillion dollar. In five years, we have doubled our economy with all our problems, with all our indiscipline, with all our rasta rocos. You will never find this anywhere in the world. We are a democracy, we are a vibrant democracy. In spite of all our problems, corruption, black money, tax evasion, we were able to grow 100% in five years. So there is a possibility. If you are going to behave well as a nation, as a citizens, then this country has a bright future. And what is it that VIT can contribute? We want to send you out some 3,000 or 4,000 students a year. If they are going to be model citizens in this country, model engineers, model doctors, model citizens, then you are going to really make a difference in this country and it will pave the way 
for India becoming a bronze nation. I always used to think, what will happen if all these students, eligible students, get education in this country? At present, less than 20% of the eligible age, they get higher education. All the others are kept outside the colleges and universities. We have about 35,000 colleges and several universities in the country. All of them put together, we offer only 90 to 20% of the students their education. And I cannot say, I cannot assure that all of them give you quality education. We will have to improve. There are certain states where we have more seats than what is required. Take for example, Andhra Pradesh. In this batch also I find they have overtaken all other states in the admission. Of course, they do in all the important universities. Almost 20% of this batch comes from the undivided Andhra Pradesh. Because now it is Telangana and Andhra, I don't know how much from Telangana, how many from Andhra Pradesh. And uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, then comes uh, Maharashtra, and other states are also contributing. And uh, I wanted to be always careful in dealing with you, with your relations with others. Small things can make a big difference in your life. If you are going to be well behaved, you will get hundreds of friends. And it will help you. And it will help you, not only you, your family, your society, and the country. That's what I must mention. If we can do well as individuals, and if we can work hard, then we can compete with others. There must be a difference between the developed country and the developing country. We are a developing economy. Americans, Europeans, or even in Asia, Japanese and Koreans. Their per capita income varies from thirty thousand to forty thousand dollars per annum. Ours around two thousand. Is it possible for us to compete with them when we want to work just like them? They work 30 hours or 40 hours, maybe mostly 40 hours a week. You just think about it. So I want you to take entire hours, all the hours with you, which should be utilized properly and useful. Don't waste your time. Because later on you will have no time to waste. Because when you enter life, it's a competitive life. There's a cutthroat competition in life, you have to work hard. So we want you to prepare yourself here, prepare the ground here in reality for hard work and honesty. These are the two things I want you to keep in mind so that it will help you as an individual, it help our society and help our country. Now there is a change. We find there is a sea change in the government population in Delhi. I don't know how much it's going to affect our life, but we feel the change is coming. We have to change our life. And uh, this change must be better for the future. You have joined another four years. You are going to be an engineer. You want to do your master's another two years. You want to be a PhD another three years or four years. But afterwards, you have to choose your career. Here is not a problem. As Karam is telling you, all eligible students are likely to get a job in the final year. In campus placement this year, we had about 265 companies. And uh, in the first slot, there are three or four companies. And it's likely that if you are very bright, you will get, you will get selected by three or four companies. And finally, you will choose the company. I am so happy about it. Because the companies are choosing our students. Now a time has come in VIT that our students choose the companies. They are offered by three or four, 
and even with the person choosing the company, whether you want to join the Infosys, uh, DCS, or uh, Wipro, or Cognizant, etc. That's the kind of job available now. And uh, our professor was talking about the foreign languages. What is the necessity for it? Because all of you may not find a job in India. You will get an opportunity to go outside the country. And it will be very good if you know one or two languages of those countries. There is German, French, Spanish. Spanish is spoken all over South Africa. French is understood in 30, 40 countries of the world. So you will have an added advantage compared to other students. Now your competition is not just within India. If you are from Delhi, you need not compete only from Madras, with Madras or Kolkata or Bombay. You will have to compete with New York, Melbourne, or whatever it is, London, etc. So you will have to equip yourself and be ready to face competition wherever you go. We know it's all possible because you have four years. And every day, you have so many hours with you, you don't waste your time. No doubt technology has come, but technology should not affect your health. As I always tell our students, and parents, they are always worried about their health and security, etc. Because for the first time, many of you come out thousands of kilometers away. And they would like to assure the parents that we will take care of your health, your security, etc. And you must eat well and sleep well. Columbia is mentioning about taking bath. If you don't sleep, then you will have no time to attend the class because it starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. People like me, I can sleep for 6 hours is enough. But for youngsters, you must have at least 7 hours of continuous sleep. So it means by 11 o'clock, you should go to bed. You plan according. How many hours for talking to friends, how many hours for taking the mobile phone, internet, film, you can know lot. Then sports and games, it is a must because sound mind is a sound body. So you require good health, you must play. But don't forget your studies. At least two hours a day, you must allow, you must be a regular student. Not only at the time of examination, burning in my body. Because your mother is not going to be there, always wake you up, give you tea, coffee, etc. You are going to be on your own. Plan accordingly. Don't waste your time. Time management is very, very essential. Because in the future, you are going to be the CEO of a company, or the manager of a company. You are going to own a company. Because it's also possible that we have very good opportunity to do business and industry in the world. Because we have technological skill, we have capital, everything we have. Only thing is, we don't have the real power. That is why China dominates the manufacturing sector. Only about 20 to 20 percent is contributed by manufacturing sector to the total GDP in the country. It is 57 percent in China. I want wherever possible, wherever there is an opportunity, you should become an employer. You should become an employee. These are all possible. You will get quality education and you get all the training when you are here. You are going to be uh, sending out. We will encourage you to go out and do your project. It's called SAP, Service Support Program. We are going to hear much about it later. That will give you an exposure outside the country. If you want to sometimes study outside also, it is possible. And students coming here also, so from China, from Europe, from US. If you want partly study in India, and partly in US, or partly in Australia, and Europe, there is a possibility for all these things and I want you to be a good citizen, a good Indian citizen and a good citizen of the world. I wish you all the best. Thank you.